Hi guys, Urban Viking Ale Review. Um, just had a pretty disappointing beer, which was the uh, that IPA from New Zealand. Oh, I can't even bother to say the name of it. Um, so I've decided to go for an English beer and an English IPA, which I have tried before on draft uh, at the Plymouth Beer Festival. It's from the Thornbridge Brewery, and it's uh, the Jaipa IPA. Okay. Like I said, I've tried this on draft at the Plymouth Beer Festival. I'm going to be using my um, Plymouth Beer Festival mug. Pint glass, sorry. Um, I'm really hoping it's as nice on uh, pasteurised as it is on tap. So let's give you an idea of what's going on here. Uh, Thornbridge Brewery is a collaboration of innovation, passion and knowledge. Our brewers come with a variety of experience, but all share the same desire to make a great beer. Using the flavours of the land that their aim is to put the art back into the science they were taught. Brewing has forever pushed the boundaries of technology. We found a way to use it to harness our passion for great flavoured beer. This means no pasteurisation or filtration. No stealing of delicate flavour and aroma molecules. This is craft beer as it should be. A complex combination of all that makes beer great. The immediate impression of Jaipur, this multi award winning IPA, is soft and smooth, but this rapidly builds around the mouth to a crescendo of massive hoppiness. Okay, right then. Um, doesn't really give you any ingredients on here. The website is www.formbridgebrewery.co.uk. 5.9% uh, and it's an IPA. Lovely. Uh, I need to try more from the Formbridge Brewery because I just need to. <laughs> Their Jiper IPA, like I say on tap, was really, really nice. Um, and there's a lovely cap. Innovation, passion, knowledge. Good stuff. Okay, let's get this in a glass. Okay, there's a nice colour on that. Very, very golden, very, very light. Okay, right. I've uh, got a little bit of a head on that one, as you can see, but it's a, quite a pale colour. Looks like a lager, really. But let's give it a nose. Yeah, it's basically near enough the same sort of smells I was getting at the festival. The initial smell is um, almost like a lager, but you're getting this lovely pineapple and um, lovely citrus notes coming through. Uh, like uh, oranges and stuff like that. There's also like a slight maltiness to it as well. There's some really slight sort of peppery notes as well, but it's mainly the citrus you're getting with this one. Yeah, it smells really good. Um, let's get stuck in. Cheers. Oh, that's nice. It's exactly how I remember it. Um, wow, that is really nice. The smell doesn't um, prepare you really because when you taste it, you get this lovely citrus and you get this lovely gripping, bitter, hoppy grapefruit which just grabs hold of your tongue. It's, um, it's very similar to... Um, to a west coast I think not as not as powerful but you know it's getting there really nice flavours um, predominant pineapple grapefruit lovely lovely bitter aftertaste just lingers and lingers on the back of your tongue really really refreshing um, a, just a bloody great English IPA I think um, I knew when I tried it on tap it was going to be a winner uh, and I was a little bit sceptical about trying the bottle because I thought it might have um, you know slacked a bit but it's really really good stuff um, yeah so the Thornbridge sorry Jiper IPA if you're a fan of hops if you like stuff like the Colonel IPAs um, or the Odell's, all that sort of stuff. Even the uh, the proper job. This one's slightly stronger than the proper job. Also slightly stronger than the Harveston. Um, it's got a nice grip. 
with the uh, the grapefruit uh, hops. And if you like them sort of like flavours, then this is going to be ideal for you. It's not better than the the Harveston. That's still my favourite IPA because that had a lovely creamy smooth finish to it. But this is a bloody good, bloody bloody good IPA. Um, let's have a bit more. Hmm, lovely. I think I might. I should have had that one a little bit colder, um, as it tends to bring out the the bite a bit more. Um, but it's a lovely, lovely beer. I'm definitely, definitely going to be buying it again. Um, and if you see it, give it a go. Um, so, rating wise, the Jaipur IPA is going to get a nine out of ten because it's just a lovely beer. So, happy with that. Thanks, Formbridge. Um, thank you. Um, was it Beers of Europe that sent me this one? I believe it was. Um, and uh, thank you for watching an Urban Viking Hour review. That's my last beer for tonight. I need to go back to work tomorrow, so <clears throat> I need a bit of a clear head, so cheers! Is that still recording? Ah.